in this session we'll see one example one simple example for the construction of push down automator so this is a language over the alphabet a so the input consists of all a's any combination of a and uh, the constraint is length of the input is even so the language will consist of either 2a 4a and it goes on even length of a okay so this is similar to your regular expression, right? Like the, the language that we have taken is a regular language. Okay, so as of that uh, Chomsky and hierarchy, all the language accepted by your finite automata has to be accepted by your pushdown automata. So there should be a way of uh, using pushdown automata for solving these kind of problems too, right? So one thing that can be done is like here, even without using the memory unit, we can have two state transitions. So one is for accepting scanning the odd number, another is for scanning the even number. We can repeat the same procedure here. So the idea is first to push the Z0 into stack. And when you are scanning the first T, put it into stack. stack. When you are scanning the second T, for this, uh, uh, the next, uh, the topmost element of stack will be popped out. Okay, so when I have four A's, first A will be pushed into stack. And for the next A, this A will be popped out. And when you are scanning the next A, put it into stack. For odd number of A's, I'm going to put it in stack. And when even number, when a pair occurs for it, we are going to cancel it. So I can have two state transitions here. One state Q0. First, I push Z0 into stack. So epsilon, without processing any of the input symbol, push this Z0 into stack. Now, either you can have the transition here itself, or if needed, I can have a separate state in order to overcome the confusion. So for the first A, I'm going to have the transition in Q, Q0, sorry, Q1. Okay, so here the transition is, first I'm going to push Z0 into stack, and I'm make it, making a transition to Q1 state in Q1 when the first input A occurs. Okay, so I'll have two states here. Listen carefully. So in this place, at this place, our stack will have Z0 alone. So that Z0 will be popped out. For each step of transition, one input that is there in the topmost element of stack will be popped out. So the Z0 will be popped out and you're going to scan the input and input will have an A. So one input A will be scan from uh, like one input element is scanned from the input and that is going to be a so for the first a as i told you this z naught will be pushed into stack along with the a that is taken from the input will be pushed into stack so the first step of transition works like this for a, a here in input and stack consists of z naught you're going to push a z naught into stack the Z0 that is popped out will be replaced back and the element that is taken from the input will be pushed back. Okay. And for the second A, when you are scanning the second A, so this has a pair for it. So the topmost element of stack at that time will be A, right? So first element will be pushed into stack after processing it will reaching the state Q2. Now in this step, this A will be popped out. And for this A, this A need to be cancelled. So we are going to have a transition back to this place. So when it is an even number of A, for odd number of A, we came to the state Q2. And when it is an even number of A, we'll go back to the state Q1. So in this state Q1, what you're going to do? If the input consists of A and star consists of A, we are going to cancel both. Okay, so when you cancel both, what happened? In your stack, you'll just have Z0 alone for the next step of transition. So while scanning the next odd A, you're going to have the transition from Q1 to Q2 state by pushing that A into stack. And when scanning the next element A, for this A, this A will be cancelled off. Okay, you're going to repeat the same procedure. So we are the transition is going to be there in Q1 state when the input is even. So either you can make it as a final state or you can have a transition here. So at the end of input, so what is it, what is it going to happen at the end of your input? So after processing all the input, your stack will have at the end of your input, your stack will have Z0 LO. In that state, you can pop out and we can make a transition to Q3, a new final state. This is acceptance by moving to final state. Okay, so when it is an even number of A's, we can have a transition here. When it is an odd number of A's, we can skip the transition to Q2 state. Okay, so we'll see one example here. We'll understand it better. 
let us consider the transition starts from q not state with the input of 4a of 6a with epsilon in the starting so what we do first step is we make a transition to q1 state by adding z0 to stack 1 2 3 4 5 6 Z0 will be added to stack. In Q1, when the input is A and stack consists of Z0, what we do? We're going to push this. We are making a transition to Q2 state and this A will be into stack. Okay. So for the next step, what we have, what we do? When in Q2, when the input is A and stack consists of A, for this A, we are going to cancel this A and you are going to make the transition to Q1 state. So we'll be having four A's back into stack input and this a is cancelled right stack will have z0 alone repeat the same procedure in q1 when the input is a and stack consists of z0 make a transition to q2 this a will be popped out and it is added to stack okay in q2 when the input is a and stack consists of a q2 a comma a we have a transition back to q1 state it is in repetition right you're going to repeat the same procedure here now in, we will make a transition to Q1 state. So for this A, this A will be cancelled. So we'll be having two A's here and one is it not here. Okay, I'll write the transition here. In Q1, uh, sorry, in Q1 when the input is A and stack consists of is it not, we are going to have the transition to Q2 state and that A will be added to stack. In Q2 when the input is A comma A, cancel this, make a transition to Q1 state. All the inputs are processed and stack consists of is it not alone. So in this case, what we do in Q1, if all the inputs are processed and stack consists of Z0 alone, we are going to have the accepting criteria. We are making the transition to Q3. Q3 is the final state by popping out Z0. So at the end of your input, your stack is empty and your transition is in final state. If any one is there, your input will be accepted. Okay, rather than two, if at least one case satisfies, your input is accepted. Okay. So what can be done for odd number of A's? So Q1 is a place where it is going to have trace all even number of A's. When you want to accept it by uh, odd number of A's, you can have a transition here for final state like this. Okay, that's it. So whenever a regular language is taken, regular language actually falls under. We can construct a NFA or DFA for it. For all those language we have studied for NFA and DFA, we can construct a push down automata for it. Okay, so that is your Chomsky and hierarchy. Regular language, only few problems can be solved. So along with the problems that are solved by this NFA, DFA, that is your finite state machine, you are going to solve extra problems that is your push down automata. Okay, so this is your context-free language. So this is the representation. Thank you.